What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. You brought me here? I seem to remember it was me who saved your ass when hell broke loose. You may have arranged the ride, but... And I would have expected nothing less from you. I appreciate what you did back there, but I also expected it of you. I knew you had it in you. You understand that? Yeah, I think I see where you're coming from. You see some magic spark in me that the rest of the brass can't see. No, not the brass. It's you who refuses to see it. Ever since the loss you suffered. And I'm sorry for that loss, Carter, but I don't think you're meant to sit it out on the sidelines. I think it's time you got another shot at being the agent you were meant to be. You have been doing your homework. What do you do, just watch people for a living? You are right about one thing, though. I'm not gonna sit back while this country gets ripped apart by these freaks. That's what I wanted to hear. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. What is this place? I mean, when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet. This facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now. It was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. But certain carefully selected individuals across all military disciplines are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. What's our plan? Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab, but we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. Welcome aboard, sir. Yes, sir? Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is... It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. 
Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they start broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. You lost pal. Well, ready room's that way. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll tell him right away. Come on, Will. We need to talk. Take a seat, gentlemen. Director Falk has personally chosen you for this initiative, and I will be your team leader. It's an honor to work with you, Agent De Silva. We're all honored, I'm sure, but the director wasn't very clear about what we'd be doing. For the most part, it's what you're familiar with. You're all experienced field agents, so investigation and recovery in hostile environments aren't new to you. You said it best in the service. And it brings all the normal risks of any field work involving hostiles. Yes, but Director Falk said something about... Unusual subjects? Yes, they might be different than you're used to. You mean we're not going after the Reds? So who are we looking for? We believe we have uncovered a new enemy of the state. We'll be investigating the exact nature of their organization. Oh, understood. I think. You can put us up against anybody in the world, sir. Yes, well, uh, about that. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research and high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help. Quick and quiet.
and chase the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Carter, head through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. You think this plasma burn is bad? I saw much worse in the war, and I still saved the arm. Now, stop complaining and hold on to something. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> 